वेलकम टू दिस इंग्लिश गुरु एंड दिस इज राजीव इफ यू आर न्यू टू द चैनल देन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब इट फॉर मोर वीडियोस सो आवर टू डे स्टोरीज द थ्री सिलीज लेट स्टार्ट विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम वंस अपॉन ए टाइम देर वॉज ए फार्मर एंड हिज वाइफ हु हैड वन डॉटर एंड शी वॉज कॉटेड बाई ए जेंटलमैन एवरी इवनिंग ही यूज टू कम एंड सी हर एंड स्टाफ टू सपर एट द फार्म हाउस and the daughter used to be sent down into the cellar to draw the beer for supper so one evening she had gone down to draw the beer and she happened to look up at the ceiling while she was drawing and she saw a mallet stuck in one of the beams it must have been there a long long time but somehow or other she had never noticed it before and she began a thinking and she thought it was very dangerous to have that mallet there for she said to herself suppose him and me was to be married and we was to have a son and he was to grow up to be a man and come down into the cellar to draw the bear like as i am doing now and the mallet was to fall on his head and kill him what a dreadful thing it would be and she put down the candle and the jug and sat herself down and began a crying well they began to wonder upstairs how it was that she was so long drying the wear and her mother went down to see after her and she found her sitting on the settle crying and the wear running over the floor why whatever is the matter she her mother said her mother oh mother says she Look that horrid mallet mallet suppose we was to be married and was to have a son and he was to grow up and was to come down to the cellar to draw the beer and the mallet was to fall on his head and kill him what a dreadful thing it would be dear dear what a dreadful thing it would be said the mother and she sat her down aside of the daughter and started a crying too then after a bit the father began to wonder that they did not come back and he went down into the cellar to look after them himself and there they two sat a crying and the wear running all over the floor whatever is the matter says he why says the mother look at that horrid mal- mallet just suppose if our daughter and her sweetheart was to be married and was to have a son and he was to grow up and was to come down into the cellar to draw the beer and the mallet was to fall on his head and kill him what a dreadful thing it would be dear 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 so it would said to the father and he sat himself down aside of the other two and started a crying now the gentleman got tired of stopping up in the kitchen by himself and at last he went down into the cellar to to see what they were after and there they three sat a crying aside side by side and the beer running all over the floor and he ran straight and turned the tap then he said whatever are you three doing sitting there crying and letting the beer run all over the floor oh says the father look at that horrid mallet suppose you and our daughter was to be married and was to have a son and he was to grow up and was to come down into the cellar to draw the beer and the mallet was to fall on his head and kill him and then they all started a crying worse than before what the gentleman burst out a laughing and reached up 
and pulled out the mallet and then he said i have traveled many miles and i never met three such big sillies as you three before and now i shall start out on my travels again and when i can find three bigger sillies than you three then i will come back and marry your daughter so he wished them goodbye and started off on his travels and left them all crying because the girl had lost her sweetheart well he set out and he traveled a long way and at last he came to a woman's cottage that he had some grass growing on the roof and the woman was trying to get her cow to go up a ladder to the grass and the poor thing dust not go so the gentleman asked the woman what she was doing why look eh she said look at all that beautiful grass i am going to get the cow on to the roof to eat it she will be quite safe for i shall tie a string around her neck and pass it down the chimney and tie it to my wrist as i go about the house so she can't fall off without my knowing it oh you poor silly said the gentleman you should cut the grass and throw it down to the cow but the woman thought it was easier to get the cow up and ladder than to get the grass down so she pushed her and caused her and got her up and tied a string around her neck and passed it down the chimney and fastened it to her own wrist and the gentleman went on his way what he had not gone far when the cow tumbled off the roof and hung by the string tied around her neck and it strangled her and the weight of the cow tied to her wrist pulled the woman up the chimney and she stuck fast half way and was smothered in the soot well that was one big silly and the gentleman went on and on and he went to an inn to stop the night and they were so full at the inn that they had to put him in a double bedded room and another traveler was to sleep in the other bed the other man was a very pleasant fellow and they got very friendly together what in the morning when they were both getting up the gentleman was surprised to see the other hang his trousers on the knobs of the chest of drawers and run across the room and try to jump into them and he tried over and over again and could not manage it and the gentleman wondered whatever he was doing it for at last he stopped and wiped his face with his handkerchief oh dear he says i do think trousers are the most awkwardest kind of clothes that ever were i can't think who could have invented such things it takes me the best part of an hour to get into mine every morning and i get so hot how do you manage yours so the gentleman burst out a laughing and showed him how to put them on and he was very much obliged to him and said he never should have thought of doing it that way so that was another big silly then the gentleman went on his travels again and he came to a village and outside the village there was a pond and round the pond was a crowd of people and they had got rakes and brooms and pitchforks reaching into the pond and the gentleman asked what was the matter why they saw matter enough moons tumbled into the pond and we can't rake her out anyhow so the gentleman burst out a laughing and told them to look up into the sky and that it was only the shadow in the water what they would not listen to him 
and abused him shamefully and he got away as quick as he could so there was a whole lot of sillies bigger than them three sillies at home so the gentleman turned back home again and married the farmer's daughter and if they did not live happy forever after that is nothing to do with you or me so guys this was our beautiful story if you like this then please share with your friends and do comments and subscribe channel thank you for watching